Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to our video. Today we're going to discuss deflation before inflation, what happens to the markets and the economy, and why I'm making this video, this small rant. Everything that you hear is only my opinion, what is boggling my mind. Honestly, I'm only making this video because I have some friends that have been asking why uh, I haven't been making any crazy investment decisions. As you know, the past few videos I've been talking about long-term uh, strategies for investments like DCA, dollar cost average. If you don't know what I'm talking about, consider watching those videos uh, before. But yeah, that's just part of a really boring, casual uh, decision. Uh, investment decision honestly and I'm not trying to find right now I'm not planning on investing on any crazy cryptocurrencies or any crazy stocks simply because I'm a bit concerned with deflation and if you follow this channel for quite some time you know I already made a videos and playlist talking about long-term debt cycles talking about inflation I even share my own personal investment decisions when it comes to some stocks to edge against inflation if you're interested in that I will leave all the links for those videos in the description down below but I think I only mentioned deflation a couple of times and it's something that's been boggling my mind. I still believe that inflation is going to be something that is going to hurt my generation in the future, but that's something really long term. And when we are talking about the short term, first of all, it's really unpredictable and no one knows for sure what will happen. I can make a lot of arguments that it's going to be a deflationary period and I can also make a lot of arguments that we're going to be inflationary. So I'm here just discussing my own uh, opinion and this is just an hypothesis that I'm formulating and maybe in the future uh, I want to know why right now I'm not making any crazy investment decisions maybe I'll be wrong maybe I'll be right but I'm just sharing it with you that's what I do in this channel hope hopefully I'll be uh, able to add some value to your uh, life or to your knowledge in general or just hear me out if you if you're watching still thank you and let's start with the video so probably if you're watching this video you know all about inflation you lose all of your purchasing power throughout your years but honestly to economists uh, it is more worrying some deflation because honestly just think that in the next month or in the next year your money will be able to afford more goods and services so you probably won't be inclined to spend as much money you will save and that is really bad for the economy because if you're not out spending other companies other employers people that have their jobs dependent from making those sales will lose their jobs because no one is buying and if you just wait and wait and wait more companies will fail and this is like a cycle that all of the economists want to avoid that's why people uh, prefer to have let's say a 2% or 3% inflation than deflation deflation is way worse and nobody really likes to talk about it we never had any crazy periods at least uh, from my generation living uh, through this so it's a really worrisome just because it never happened to us doesn't mean that in the future it might happen and deflation is precisely the opposite of inflation and why I'm concerned about deflation so remember deflation your money is gaining power uh, over time or purchasing power if you want to put it that way so if in the future you'll be able to afford more goods and services and this can also be applied to stocks or other investment assets so right now might not be a good idea to invest or at least to go all in because if you just wait uh, a bit in the short term it might be a few months it might be a few years you'll be able with the same money to buy more shares of a company for example so what uh, why am I right now concerned with deflation? Because th I'm going to show you some charts that are boggling and in the future when I rewatch this video I will understand them. I'll try to share uh, my thoughts along the way. I hope you can uh, follow along. Uh, I'll try to keep things really simple um, uh, and easy. So first of all, if your money is gaining power that means assets like gold will be decreasing in value because if you're with inflation if you've seen from the past few years gold has been appreciating in price not really maybe just the currency that you measure it has been losing all, all, all of its purchasing power that's why gold uh, is typically uh, rising in value because your dollars or your euros or whatever fiat currency you use is just worth 
worth less because one ounce of gold is still one ounce of gold but now you need to spend more of your currency because there's more circulating around and then there's a lot of things that cause inflation I already made videos about it I don't want to get uh, through that but deflation is precisely the opposite so if we look at the gold chart and we see gold prices uh, falling well that may, might be a sign of deflationary forces are gaining some terrain other thing to consider is the strength of the currency itself compared to foreign currencies i for example live in portugal and we have the euro here so even though i use the euro i get paid in euros all of my all not all of my investments but the bulk of my investments are measured in dollars that's why i always like to think in this perspective as an american because my most of my investments are denominated in dollars in one hand it's cool uh, because if we are in inflation that means that my euros will be able to buy more of let's say us equities or us stocks whatever you want to uh, call it so that it's easier for you but at the same time if it's deflationary that also means that my investments uh, that are denominated in dollars will be uh, appreciating or at least um, against my euro so we are going to also see a strength index chart about the us dollar to see comparing it with other foreign currencies if the dollar is falling or rising. We know that in the past few months the dollar has been losing a, a, a bit of the value but if we found a bottom structure and now we rebound also a great sign of deflation so might not be a good idea to invest because deflationary periods are really uh, bad and last and I think that will be the first chart because it might be a bit confusing for most people is the 20 year treasury bond yields because just think inflation how can you stop inflation and I'm not talking about inflation inflation because this is easier for people to understand banks or central banks need to rise, to rise uh, interest rates so that means the bonds will fall uh, in price because your money but in the opposite direction and in deflation it's precisely the opposite the bond the bond prices will um, will rise and I, I it's probably easy for me to show the chart because if i'm here just talking explain I, I don't think you will get the the picture and this is why i'm concerned right now maybe this is just me uh, overreacting to something really short term we cannot see like an entire trend just for the past few weeks or days but I think it's a good idea for me if I'm thinking about it I will share it with you I think it's my kind of job I, I really enjoy making these videos anyway so we are here seeing the 20 year treasury uh, bond and ETF so that you can see here so we've been seeing this uh, fall and this is good for inflationary um, forces if you want to call it uh, because bond prices are falling and so far maybe it's like i said maybe i'm overreacting maybe this is just like a bounce and uh, maybe we'll keep on sideways movement for the next couple of months and years i'm right now watching a, a daily chart but let's assume that right now we are seeing some kind of bottoming position because we have a lot of resistance here and this is a bit of technical analysis i know i don't do that a lot here on the channel but let's suppose that bond prices, uh, bond prices uh, start to rise 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 that means that maybe deflationary forces are into play but it's never a good idea to just uh, based on hypothesis or a scenario just looking at one specific chart remember that before here on the laptop I talked about three different scenarios and let's go to a dollar a currency index and you can see here then right now we are seeing the weekly chart you've seen that for 2020 or 2021 in the past like bull market where we've seen Bitcoin rising in price because Bitcoin is seen as some kind of inflation hedge and gold prices have been spiking well at the same time you can see here that the dollar uh, was losing its uh, strength but right now if this is like a bottoming position this might be an indicator and then again I'm always saying maybe I'm just overreacting but if I start to see these charts and I'm just sharing it because this is what I'm seeing and uh, maybe this is nothing but if it is I will pay close attention maybe you should pay close attention uh, to these kind of charts is that if the, um, the strength index uh, starts to, to rise again 
And again, the dollar is gaining strength and investments like say uh, gold, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies are going to be bad. So it's probably a good idea in the short term. I know in the long term you will lose all of your purchasing power uh, eventually. That's just how fiat currencies work. But in the short term it might be a good idea to wait uh, just a bit. And of course, let's watch the, the last chart. It's gold prices. We've seen this, and I'm in the daily candles uh, on this chart. We've seen this crazy uh, bull run in 2020 because people are, were concerned. We had a crash, coronavirus, all of those things, and gold had a huge uh, bull run. But lately, and you can see here recently, gold is, um, it didn't reach the previous all time highs. And right now it's uh, kind of falling so that means that the US dollar has some uh, strength uh, left because I think a lot of people uh, let me just put my laptop here think that just because when I also I fall victim of these uh, assumptions is that just because they are printing a lot of money in the US and the Federal Reserve the US dollar is still the world reserve currency and there's a lot of demand of it and if there's a lot of demand it might not lose as much strength and as we um, might assume. But then remember, what I said in the beginning, economists hate deflation more than inflation. And what i assuming that will happen, or remember, these are just assumptions, everything that I say is not financial advice, is that maybe in the short term we might see some deflation and that will be bad for investments, all kind of investments. Um, I suspect my portfolio is going to take a hit so that's why I'm not making any uh, crazy decisions to go on the best and I, I recommend you to okay keep your uh, fund your emergency fund and now just start to pile up a bit of cash so that when you see the opportunity to strike because in the short term we might see um, from this um, forces deflationary forces and that's what I'm calling them right now I don't know if that's uh, the, the right term that's what I'm using it it doesn't really matter it might be concerned might be nothing but I'm just doing here my part to share what I'm thinking right now so that in the future I can rewatch these videos and understand what I'm what that was crossing my mind this most likely in 10 20 30 years will just be like a blip in the chart but then again, I feel safe uh, at making these assumptions and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not making any crazy decisions. That's why you see my investment decision uh, playlist a bit um, on old on my Instagram page, cadet.invest. You don't see me making any crazy investments because yeah, we will see, we will see. But if I see some really crazy changes in structure or something, I will be sure to make an update video. I don't, I'm not sure also if you enjoy this type of content. Do you want me to be more technical? Do you want me to be more chill? I'm just still uh, trying to figure out how I want to take this channel. I do it mostly for fun, but this is a small channel. Don't forget to show your support, hitting that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.